Yes, we are essentially on time today. Unfortunately, there's a trade-off for everything. I will be leaving at noon today. So we got to get down to business. We got to play this bandle ASAP. First, let me see. Ooh, today's TikTok 32,000. Not, not too shabby for 9.03 a.m., bro. Yes, uh, on the bike ride today, Dan Giesling did call me at 7.03 a.m. Let me call Ryan. He's up. He, kn he knows if I'm calling him, it's serious. I just have a question for him. Yo, desperate times over here, comma. I'm just wondering if you use the space bar on the Widowmaker jump, question mark. Have a good ride, buddy, exclamation point. I declined to take the call because I was in zone four. I don't want to take the call and I'm getting farmed for content. I'm waking up my toddler and my wife like an hour and a half before they are supposed to wake up. I'm going to be out of breath and trying to explain how to do a jump that I don't even remember. I hit him with a nice text, though. He said, I need your help. Do you use the space bar on the Widowmaker? And I said, of course, bro. Space is key. But I honestly don't remember the jump whatsoever. What I do remember is that I believe I use the space bar for every single jump in the game. He called Squeaks as well. I mean, no disrespect. Calling a motherfucker at 7.03 a.m. on a Wednesday is insane behavior. I'm actually not mad. The only reason I'm not mad is because I'm always up then anyway. But that is crazy. <laughs> I'd been up for an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes or something. But I'm like, you are lucky, brother, because anyone else, any other streamer, Pacific time, they're not going to be pleased about that. Bro, I didn't get a, I didn't get to sleep until 3 a.m. last night. I watched seven episodes of Shogun back to back to back to back to back to back to back. There's nothing I could have done, bro. I thought your phone is always on Do Not Disturb. It is. My ass was listening to music using my cell phone while I was on my bike ride in fucking Royal Waterford Greenway or whatever the hell it's called in Ireland. In the middle of Metallica's Ride the Lightning, all of a sudden the music cuts out. I go, what's going on? Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, Bandle, ready? 1979, 22 million views. When you gonna give me some time, Sharona? You think? Pretty one, pretty one. When you're gonna give me some time, Sharona? <laughs> you think it's possible? I'm, I'm actually, so no joke, that's on the Peloton playlist, so that shit was already top of mind. Bandle in one does not happen too often, but we take those. <laughs> I'll take the original, thanks. I'll take the original. Bad song. Actually, My Sharona is a decent song with two incredible guitar solos, which elevates it to great song. <clears throat> You're going to wait three days to play Content Warning and then be like, sorry, I was going to play it, but I saw Apollo playing it and it didn't look fun. I'm begging you with all the genuine care that I can muster in my heart to touch grass. You need to get a life. I'm sorry. It's rude of me to say, but you're too invested in the docket. That's just crazy. I know that you're subscribed. I'm telling you this out of the goodness of my heart. This weird, this weird energy. Why are you so invested in, in when the game is going to get played? Just, it's a beautiful day outside. It's sunny. 
If you like the content, watch the content. It's, oh, they shouldn't put fucking... Heath Ledger should never be the Joker. He doesn't have the dark energy to play the Joker. The movie doesn't come out for 27 months, bro. Just chill out. Watch it when it comes to the theaters. You don't need to post about it. For 12 hours, the movie's only two and a half hours long. You've got a disproportionate investment in the content versus the actual duration of the content itself. You got to chill out. It's just, it's just crazy. Complaining about rain. It snowed in Wisconsin. People who say they love living in Wisconsin whenever anybody says the weather isn't great where they live. Yeah, well, it's fucked in Wisconsin. Yeah, no, I wouldn't move. I wouldn't move for any amount of money in the world. They serve their martinis in a highball glass. Oh, oh, it's a fucking unseasonably cold where you are? Well, we just had a blizzard. It's hell here. It's the worst place on earth. I would never leave. I was born here. I'm going to die here. John Cougar Mellencamp, motherfucker. Greatest place on earth. Wisconsin or Minnesota? Would have said Wisconsin prior to three minutes ago. Now it's Minnesota by a, by a landslide. I can't, I can't do it, man. I can't freaking do it. Maybe I can do it. I don't know if I can do it. Sino fighting. Quick, quick gut check. Sino. What's Sino? Sino is the world known as fourth gen diamond pearl. Okay. We're fucked. I'm, I'm in a lot of trouble here, guys. I'm in a lot of trouble. Legendary psychic. Perhaps you've heard of Mew. All right. Perhaps you've heard of Mew too. They added the psychic on the second version. They added the psychic. Mew 1, not psychic. Mew 1, merely above average intellect. Legendary from Sinnoh. Lugia. That stings. I thought Lugia was on the, uh, the game art of Diamond and Pearl. Sinnoh. I have four remaining. This is bad. Is, is Diamond Pearl really not a bird on the cover or like a dragon of some sort? Fire Sinnoh. The, the fire starter, the twisted fire starter, a.k.a. original partner Pokemon. You're down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. It's... He looks too new. No, I'm thinking of Grookey. This is the perfect... The, per the perfect era! The perfect era! Okay. Sinnoh fighting? Honestly, I have no idea. We're going to say Hariyama. Perhaps he was added. Okay, we're going to say Hitmontop. Maybe they added Hitmontop for, for this game. Okay, we're going to say... Mm, I have no idea. Okay, fighting with no fighting psychic. Fire with no evolutionary line seems, seems doable, but I don't know it, brother. I wish I put fucking Zapdos down here. I'll tell you that much. Sinnoh fighting. You ever hear of a little dude by the name of Ambipom? All right, I'm, I'm washed, bro. Dialga, my stupid ass, when your stupid ass says Lugia instead of Dialga, and then of course Palkia, also known as Ultima Weapon, can I copy your homework? Sure, but don't make it too obvious. Sock, actually, I'll admit, gettable. I know this guy from, from Pokemon Go. Infernape, also known as the boss you fight fourth in Mega Man X5. Delphox, God is my witness, never seen this creature before in my life. Medicham, have seen. Is it, aren't there two? There's, there's, a, there's a pink pants and a blue pants? Yes, there's a Medicham and a meta, meta tight. Okay. Oh, dude, I actually, there's a chance I could have gotten Galad as well. Everything else here, I've, I, God is my witness, I don't believe I've ever seen Rotom Heat. Great Tusk or Dark... I mean, I guess I've seen Darmanitan Zen. Respect the toaster. Is that what Ro Rotom is a toaster oven? By the way, air fryer bros, we're so back. I have a new technique for you. Never bring up that you have an air fryer. Wait until someone else brings up their convection oven. 
and then say, oh, did you know that convection ovens are actually just big air fryers? It drives them fucking crazy because you flip the script on them. You use like their best technique against them. It's like when you have to fight Shadow Link in The Legend of Zelda 2. <clears throat> it's actually, it's insane tech. I only grant you license to use it against people you hate. It's a movie in Miami in the 1980s. My dad used to have this car. Is this a Dodge Shadow? <laughs> this looks like Matt Dillon to me, which would make this, there's something about Mary. But I think that's, it's too deep of a pull. Oh my God! <laughs> Yes! Also, I'm fucking old, dude. This is what movies look like when I was 10? I thought this shit was from like 1974. Holy, that's a crazy pull, man. Whew. That would, I'm, my heart rate rose on that one. Thank you, Matt Dillon. I'm here to say I like There's Something About Mary. I think it's a funny movie. I, I own it on DVD, including the uh, Build Me Up Buttercup behind the scenes video of all the cast members lip syncing. The part where Ben Stiller ejaculates and loses the ejaculate and then it's hanging from his ear and Cameron Diaz says, is that hair gel? And she puts it in her hair. It just doesn't pass the smell test. It, it wouldn't stick to his ear that well. Like it's gravity would have pulled it down. She would have known what it was. She wouldn't have just run it through. She would know that her hair doesn't look right. Listen, I, I, it's funny. It's funny, okay? This Russian-born American author was known for books for, called The Fountainhead and Atlas Shrugged. Ayn Rand. It, I knew Ayn Rand in 2005 because when I started applying for university scholarships, the most lucrative university scholarships were provided by the Ayn Rand Foundation. And it was like, one of them was like a 10 grand scholarship for best essay about the Fountainhead. One of them was a 10 grand uh, essay or prize for an essay about Atlas Shrugged. And I said, I'll read a fucking book and write an essay for $10,000. The mathematic is correct at all times. And then I just never did it. Which I feel like maybe saved the trajectory of my life. I mean, now I could, I could lie to you and I could be moralistic. I would be like, at age 16, I didn't agree with her politics. I didn't know anything about her politics. I just said, 900-page book, I'll start it tomorrow. And then eventually it was like, oh, that shit's due in three days. It's not possible anymore. This is Jimmy Kimmel. I'm 100% certain on that. Now, the, the lady's face sounds crazy. I'm going to say Rachel McAdams. That's just what my, my spyglass told me, is that this is Rachel McAdams. Wow, he's insane. I'm actually out of control today. I don't know where that came from. The brain is firing on all cylinders. Founded in the U.S. by an Italian chocolatier, Lint owns this brand. This would be Giridelli. Girid, Girid, Giridelli. Mass, Mary. Normal, wash. Combination, yardstick. Yardstick, gauge, benchmark. Fold, check, bet. Call poker actions. That's a gimme. I even got the name of the category exactly right. I must be insane because these never are the verbiage that I choose. <clears throat> Dry, oily, normal. Types of skin. Combination, dry, oily, normal. Types of skin for a cleanser. Oh! <laughs> Yardstick, gauge, standard, benchmark. And then fucking American colleges or something. Starts of U.S. states, yeah. I mean, you don't, you don't see green, blue, yellow, purple 
with no X's, too much out of me. That's all I'm going to say. Mary, Kent, and Ashley, so true. Gen Z, when you explain that to us as millennials, Elizabeth Olsen is the third most famous Olsen twin. I know what you're going to say. Twin? I fell out of a coconut tree. Don't blame me. I exist independent of the context that birthed me, okay? You ever think about how much mentally stronger we are than people in the 1960s and the 1970s? Charles Manson listened to Helter Skelter, written by Paul McCartney, and it drove him fucking insane. It sent him into a murderous rage. I listened to that shit on the Peloton today. It barely got my heart rate up. I mean, I was pumping my legs, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, like, it's going to take something a little crazier than that to, to trigger my sleeper agent code word. That's all I'm going to say. I will play without an account. London Fog. Do you know the London Fog was invented in Vancouver? Woman celebrating with a band. Fiance? Like a wedding band? You see what I'm saying? Bride? Pinky or pinky toe? Small. What a phoenix emerges from? Ashes. You ain't seen nothing yet. Fight? Odie? Gets? Time to blow out the candles. B-Day. The, the bride pull is actually insane. It's out of control. The Seychelles. In hindsight... Game theory would tell me this is not necessarily a great guess. <laughs> Iran. That's warmer by 300 kilometers. Um, is fucking Colombia. That's adjacent to the answer. Venezuela. It's adjacent to the... Okay, well then it's... Brez, it, then it's Bolivia. Simply no choice other than Brazil. <laughs> Brazil, I always forget. I mean, I know Brazil is big. But whenever I don't see the borders on the map, I'm like, it can't be that big. And then when the borders get drawn in, I'm like, that's a big lad right there. You should try Tradel. We've come so far. They told me. Your journey is 10,000 miles. Right now, you can't imagine anything but your origin point, but there will come a day when you are so far from home that you won't even remember what home looks like. That day is today. Tradle was one of the first dulls we ever did. It was also one of the first dulls we ever culled because of the fact that they have a fetish for giving you Pacific Islands with a total population of 11,000 people. Like, for a while, it was like, oh, they export, like... $900 million worth of gold annually. I have kind of like a, a reference point for what to guess. And then, like for a month, it was like, oh, $37,000 of diatomaceous toothpaste. Okay, I don't fucking know. Christmas Island? Wrong. It was fucking Vanatu. Okay, how am I supposed to know? Honest, I'm just like, I'm, that's not the industry in which I work in, man. Librarian, thank you for the gifted subscriptions, by the way. Thank you. Possibly the most wasted advertising dollars ever spent on me. This is Cuba. I'm actually crazy today. I don't know where it came from, but all the neurons are moving in the same direction today, and that's pretty rare. <laughs> Lake Mobius, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. I also, I'm like, as I was typing Cuba, I was like, everybody's going to make fun of me. Cuba doesn't look like this. Cuba's like stouter. But I said, ah, whatever. I don't have, it's probably somewhere in the Caribbean anyway. That's Bayonetta, Bayonetta hair. That's Bayonetta hair. Bayonetta 3. This is uh, Resident Evil. It's Resident Evil 6. Because it looks bad. It's not Resident... It's not even a Resident Evil. This is Van Helsing, the game. Doesn't exist. Okay, this is... Pretty sure Van Helsing didn't use a, a 9, now that I think about it. Um, 
it's such an indictment of this game that I can't think of its name. Why does this look so much like the Bethesda game in outer space that took 25 years to come out? You know what I'm talking about? What's it called? <laughs> Starfield, that's it. <laughs> Starfield? Nope, okay. Just leveling with you here. I don't think we're getting anything else off this last guess. That's pray. <laughs> oh, no wonder it looked like a Bethesda game. It is a Bethesda game. Ever tell you the story about how back when I still received like press merch sometimes for games, which is a vestige of a, the industry at an earlier time. Um, Bethesda sent me a package without telling me, which whatever it happens uh, for prey. And then one of the pieces of merch that was inside, it was a banana holder with a real banana in it, but that shit got stuck at customs for like three weeks. So by the time I opened it up, it was all fucked up and gooey. And stuff. <laughs> I'm not mad. Their heart was in the right place. It's just a funny story. Why a banana? I mean, cause it was a banana holder. I don't, I don't live in this world where like after you find out what went wrong in the story, you go, well, why would they make that mistake? People make mistakes, bro. Just the way, you know, you got a thousand different criteria to consider in your brain whenever you make any kind of decision whatsoever. In hindsight, you know, would it have been nice if someone said, hey, maybe this is going to get stuck at the border. We shouldn't send like fresh fruit with it. Yeah, but they're sending out, you know, 500 packages to pseudonymous YouTubers and stuff like that every day. They're not every day, but at least for every launch. They got stuff to do, man. It's just a funny story. I mean, obviously, you've made mistakes in your life. You're fucking here, and I'm here. So, like, we should show some empathy, man. Death's Door. More recent than Death's Door. That's tough. Going to imagine it's not Death's Door 2. <laughs> Hogwarts Legacy. More recent than 2023, but it is a fantasy open world action game. Okay, it's fucking Dragon's Dogma, bro. That's too easy. It's the easiest thing in the world. Colin Firth, Julia Roberts, Renee Zellweger. You really thought you could trip me up, huh? Colin Firth, comedy. Let me think about this. First, three or more word title. Bridget Jones, Edge of Reason. <laughs> Genre comedy. Released 1990 to 2010. I just got to take a flyer on this one. Wait, King's Speech might be 2010, bro. Don't, don't be silly. Okay, I'll tell you what. How about Bridget Jones, Baby? And then Bridget Jones, Edge of Reason. I already did that one. Bridget Jones, Diary. <laughs> Bird Jet. <laughs> He's cracked. He knows everything about Colin Firth, man. Oh, fuck. I got to do Renee Zellweger, man. Renee Zellweger. Um... Oh, shit. Um, okay. Three or more word title. Released 1990 to 2000. Chicago. Three or more word title. Me, myself, and Irene. Genre comedy. Nurse Betty. You thought I didn't know shit about Renee Zellweger? I know everything about Renee Zellweger, bro. Top 8%. We had none most populars. Well, we had one most popular with Chicago. Look, I, I think people were flaming out on Colin Firth, bro. They're playing Love Actually in the King's Speech. Nobody wants to play fucking Pride and Prejudice or Atonement or whichever one of those he's actually in. <laughs> you, me, and Dupree? Unless I'm mistaken, that's fucking Kate Hudson, bro. You really think your ass is going to get Julia Roberts to be like eighth build in You, Me, and Dupree? Is going to go Owen Wilson, Kate Hudson, Matt Dillon, Julia Roberts. Come on, man. 
It's not a serious chatter. That's all. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm doing a capture right now. Select all images with a fire hydrant. Done. I th well, I don't know what the fuck that is. That could be a bollard for all I know. Verify. I'm in. <laughs> Play the daily. Okay. Axel. A noun meaning a pin or shaft on. It's a bad start. It's actually L-E, isn't it? I was thinking about Twisted Metal too. Excavating. A verb meaning to form a <laughs> cavity or... Results. A verb right, meaning... Just get this X off the screen. Premium. A noun premium. meaning a... Premium. Chain. A noun... Okay, next. Cholesterol. A noun meaning a... A gimme? Affirmation. A noun meaning the act... Futility. A noun meaning the... Futility. Trying to get perfect in spell check when you miss guess number Mandarin. one. Mandarin. A noun meaning a public... Ben Kingsley in Iron Man 3. Colleagues. A noun meaning an associate... Okay. Mediums were easier than easy. Vancouver. Yo! A biographical name in nature, 1757. 1798 English Navigator. Vancouver. Beautiful city of light. Sinai. A geographical name meaning... Pen Come on. Known age. A noun meaning minority. The word originates from Middle English, combining Anglo-French non with age. Known age. A noun meaning it minority. It must be this. The combining non with age? Known age. Isles. A noun meaning a passage, as okay, in a that theater. That was literally on yesterday's. Nudie branch. <laughs> a noun meaning any of an order. Nudibranchia. Yep. Okay. That's a biology word. I just, I laugh every time I hear it. Had to get my uh, mortgage renewed today, but I accidentally went to the nudie branch of Royal Bank. No! Everybody was like, bro, why do you have shorts on? Chat, can you be real with me? This is, uh, this is an honest-to-goodness question. Is that Adam Driver? <laughs> or is it Charles Bronson? Who is this dude? Who is this dude, man? That's not Adam Driver. You're Jason Clark. So this is probably... Um, rise of the planet of, no wait dawn comes second it's probably dawn of the planet of the apes wrong not even the right franchise it also has Mark Strong in it could be the movie known as kick ass it's not kick ass this, this image is like I, I can't see this image anymore it's the twitter meme image of like they're announcing the cast for an animated movie and it's always like, and introducing Chris Pratt as Major Kusanagi. And then it's always this fucking picture, man. Every single time. Jessica Chastain. That's Joel Edgerton? <laughs> Jessica Chastain. Jo it, and, but it, what, why, why was I getting red, bro? It must be Jurassic World. Maya Patrick, squadron team leader. Justin Devgrew. George... Dan and Amar. I must be fucking stupid, bro. I must be stupid. Oh, I am stupid. Jessica Chastain is not Bryce Dallas Howard from Jurassic World. That's true. That's very true. Squadron team leader. Da Wait, no, no, no. I do know this. It's Zero Dark Thirty. Yes. Okay. Why do I know Devgrew? It's literally in her photo. <laughs> it does say behind her head. I was trying to think if he played like a fucking rogue AI or something. Can you imagine Chris Pratt being the, the voice of HAL 9000 in the 2001 A Space Odyssey reboot? Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I can't let you do that. Introducing Chris Pratt as HAL 9000. It's a me. <laughs> Did you see the, the Kanye West uh, lawsuit where he told his employee that he was fired and then he put on a Super Mario voice and said, I'm going to give you one more chance, another life, and jumped up and punched like an invisible block in the air? Did you see the news that that Amazon grocery store where you just pick up your shit and walk out and it's supposed to automatically like scan and pay when you leave was not actually automatically scanning and paying it was a thousand employees in india watching you and manually logging all the shit while you were in the store 
is that real? That doesn't seem like it. I want it to be real because it's funny, but like it, it validates my implicit biases so much that I, I have to be innately skeptical before I believe that it's real. But if it's real, it's maybe one of the funniest things that's ever happened. It's machine training. No! They were just validating the data set. If it was real, it'd be really funny, though. Um, maybe we'll just spread some misinformation. Cameron Diaz, Oscar-nominated film. Now, that's a tough one. I think it's got to be... Oh! Because I wanted to say Gangs of New York, but there's a city or state in the title. So what the fuck else has Cameron Diaz in that ever got nominated for a fucking Oscar, bro? Vanilla Sky? The Mask? Maybe The Mask got nominated for, like, best fucking vfx or did the academy even respect vfx back then shrek did shrek get nominated for best animated film i gotta think about this one okay first off we know this is going to be gangs of new york for nicholas cage there's another one i don't know what it is though nicholas cage is going to be raising arizona or whoa 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 bangkok dangerous bro Bangkok Dangerous is a pull. Three pers. Look at that. Okay. Cameron Diaz, 00 to 09. Lots to choose from there. We'll go um, the sweetest thing, which was not nominated for an Oscar, and then nominated for an Oscar. Like, that's crazy. Cameron Diaz does not have a particularly esteemed filmography, okay? She's in Gangs of New York, she's in Shrek. Not hating on Shrek, but we're talking about films here, not movies, okay? She's in There's Something About Mary and uh, The Mask. Uh, did I say The Mask? Everything else kind of like, you know, night and day, bad teacher. I got nothing against her, but I just me personally, you know, she doesn't have the greatest filmography. So what was she in that was nominated for an Oscar? Gangs of New York. But we had the, there was, I didn't, I don't know the other option here. So what, what else was nominated for an Oscar? You're either going, there's something about Mary <laughs> best fucking scene with hair gel or you're Jonathan Richmond best original soundtrack or something or you're going Vanilla Sky best adapted screenplay but Vanilla Sky was panned by the critics upon release it's become a cult classic in the years since or the mask for like visual effects but I don't even know if visual effects were an Oscar category in like 1994 I'm I'm going I'm going crazy. I'm going the mask. I can't bring myself to type there's something about Mary. Oh. <laughs> oh man, that took a, that was a gut check. And then God is my witness, I simply have no idea. Vendetta. Now that might even be John Voight now that I think about it. Deliverance, I don't even know if you were in that shit. Batman Returns. <laughs> I don't think that well, actually, isn't there, hang on, isn't there a city called Batman in India? Or Turkey? They didn't count that one, huh? <laughs> that should count, bro! I know it doesn't take place in Batman Turkey, but still. King of New York. Well, it's just a, simply a blind spot. It's a top 27% of players, I can take that, though. Shrek won an Oscar. Shrek won the first Best Animated Film Oscar. Yeah, no big deal. Let me guess. It beat Spirited Away. Yeah, keep, keep defending Shrek. There's nothing wrong with it. Like, Shrek's totally fine. I saw it contemporaneously in fucking 2001 or whatever when it came out. I just can't believe I'm 35 here and we're still talking about fucking Shrek, bro. Like, come on. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta move on. <laughs> it beat Monsters, Inc., I think that's fine, okay? I think Monsters, Inc. is also... Shrek is a good movie. Monsters, Inc. is also a good movie. I got no problem with either of those movies. What else was nominated? The Jimmy Neutron movie? I'm inclined to say that it deserved to kick the shit out of the Jimmy Neutron movie. How about Best Animated Movie 2001 Oscars? Academy Award for Best Animated Picture. Let me, let me see here. There were literally three movies nominated. Shrek, Jimmy Neutron, and Monsters, Inc. 
Yikes, bro. 2002, Spirited Away wins over Ice Age, Lilo and Stitch, Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron, Treasure Planet. Yeah, I imagine Spirited Away would, Spirited Away would beat those four movies considering it's like probably a top 50 movie ever made. Man, you, I understand why you guys got a chip on your shoulder now. The Academy really doesn't respect animated movies, huh? 2003, three nominees, Finding Nemo, Brother Bear, and The Triplets of Belleville. So they fucking didn't put any respect on The Triplets of Belleville. They said Finding Nemo wins. 2004, they said Run It Back. The Incredibles, Shark Tale, and Shrek 2. You're telling me there wasn't some shit they, they couldn't have rounded it out with like a couple of foreign animated movies or something like that? They said there's only been three good animated movies this year and Shark Tale's one of them. 2005, Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit, Corpse Bride, Howl's Moving Castle. Okay, no disrespect to Wallace and Gromit there, but like still, three movies. 2006, you, you guys are fucking right. You're blowing my mind. 2006, Cars, Monster House, and Happy Feet? Happy Feet won the Oscar for Best Animated Movie in 2006? There, dude, you can't tell me that there's not... There's probably 10 better animated movies than Happy Feet that came out that year, and they only had three nominations, bro. They put no fucking respect on it. Where did they start to put some respect on it? Maybe they fucking... Okay, maybe 2013. <laughs> maybe not. Frozen, The Croods, Despicable Me Too, Ernest and Celestine, and The Wind Rises. What are we looking at? Oh, man, well, it gets a little bit better over time. At least they're going through the motions of nominating like five movies instead of just being like, oh, what did Pixar come out with this year? No disrespect to Pixar, of course. Okay, we're farming some more challenges. We, we were talking about how Ballot chose Game of the Year so far. People were saying there's a lot of year left. Me, when I think that a great game came out in February, this could be Game of the Year. You, when your favorite game of the year comes out in September, this is game of the year, bro. This is game of the year. Come on. Start a new challenge. Mad World. Extra hands no longer earn money. You earn no interest. You start with a negative all cards are face cards and business card. Okay, so you generate money by playing cards. <laughs> all right. By the way, I saw you guys say you got to go red seal on this, but like, I'm telling you, purple seal is the most valuable thing in the game. You get fucking molt, you get chips, you get jokers, you get money. Like it does, it does everything, bro. I put that on everything. We go mega spectral any day of the week. You, you just don't work, huh? One in two chance you don't work, okay? One in two chance you don't work. What are we talking about, Gen Z? <laughs> I'm just joking, man. I'm fucking joking. So here, as much as I love medium, you go aura on this bitch right here, and then you fucking septuple it. And now we're cruising, man. It fucking worked. We're gonna go six, seven hero font. And then... Retrigger all played face cards is actually like the best joker I could possibly receive because all of my cards are face cards. Holy bursh. <laughs> I think we just won the challenge, bro. Let me just see what this looks like right here. I'm rich. So you could be fucking sweet, to be honest with you, because I think we're going to be rich. Drop something like this on you. We'll need planets at some point, but we're, we're fucking chilling, bro. This might be like the most stacked I've ever been on a challenge. We should be tossing Hugh. We should be tossing... I would like to raise you if possible. That's an insane play, but I'm doing it. Oh! <laughs> Holy, bro. What a pull. Two hundred and thirteen thousand points. 
you need you you can we can do better i guess is what i'm trying to say i'm, I'm cutting bonus cards bro that's how good the deck is here i'm cutting bonus cards i'm yelling timber i got 235 bucks in my damn pocket i'll take a red seal too that's steel why not I hate, we don't need this to pop right now. Keep your priorities straight. What we need is to make more money with Faceless Joker, draw our purple seal cards to get more tarot cards, and really get this joint popping. So I'm not gonna use Empress right now because it'll be better to use it on our Polychrome 4. We're gonna hold it. We gotta think about the future, bro. We got an Emperor card. Okay, it's our Polychrome 4. Look at that. We'll, we'll Empress them. I mean, we're, we're fully locked in right now. Strength on the 4s to turn them into 5s is even better. I guess I could have... I don't know. I'm still happy. Do I, how many 4s do we got? Two 4s left in the deck. Call me crazy on this one. I think we go Wheel Fool Wheel. I think it's our, our most obvious way to scale. 50 chips, it could be worse. It could be worse. All face cards are deep. Well, you know what? We're about to put this shit to the fucking test, bro. Get ready. People didn't believe. The boss blind won't negate all your cards. It'll negate them all, but you're, you're, you gotta put some respect on 260 chips times 24, which is actually like fucking 1,000 chips times fucking... 60 times fucking 1.5 like we're don't even worry about it you got nothing to worry about is what i'm trying to say for now we still got two fours so i'll buy this but i i don't necessarily expect it to work it got, it got something it did, did something i could live with with a double strength here you got to think about the future because then you could fool on a strength but i still feel like you wait just in case a death card shows up in the future bro now, 30 bucks, sure. 30 bucks, you got me tempted, but I'm kind of, I'm hodling, bro. I'm hodling for a death card. Death is, is, is the answer for us on this one, not to be glib with you. Oh, <laughs> would you look at that? We fucking got it. We fucking got it. We were a little bit patient and we fucking got it. Not you, but you. How droll, Niles. And then you go, fucking five of these bad boys. One, two, three, four, and then the chips at the end. It's three million points, bro. On Anti-7, three million points. And we're sitting here talking about, we're, we're worried about the boss blind. Like, are you kidding me? Now, admittedly, the next... This boss blind is not going to have as good of a hand as our last one. Oh, Red Seal 5. Don't mind if I do. I still think we win in one turn, though. Actually, we, we like, 3 x it with a little cherry on top. Your messages will betray you. I will audit you and see if you said rip on the boss blind. We spent 12 years talking about it and 1.2 seconds playing it. <clears throat> I'm workshopping pub trivia questions for tonight. Can you name the five stereotypes used in the intro of The Breakfast Club? Probably not, but I bet Dan could. There's the nerd. There's the jock. There's the troublemaker. <laughs> the bad kid. Goth. The goth. The prep. The princess. I, I took all of those from chat after the first two. Oh, the basket case. The basket case, I see. Of course. The basket case. You know what? One five of diamonds, you are becoming a club. That's where we're at on this run. The dive rocket launcher, so true. <laughs> we're also, I'm gonna get a justice card. We, we wanna get some big hands. We don't have to do them right now, but we wanna get some big hands eventually. 
you're also going to become clubs. Now, don't accidentally get too many clubs. You got to, I mean, it's a, it's a risk. But we want to not play flush fives by accident. It makes a difference. You, we don't care about chips anymore. Send them. Okay, there's your seed. Don't look, don't look. You don't have my permission to look at the seed. Okay, endless. We're, of course we're going endless. Normally we don't go endless on the challenges. This is an exception. I'm a different kind of beast, man. I honestly think... You crypted the purple seal. And then you get as many glass cards as you fucking want, bro. Because we're getting a shitload of tarot cards. Imagine hack on this. That's the one negative about this run right now. We're not playing any rerolls. Oh, look at that. Chat, nobody tell him. Nobody tell him about the blind. The blind is so dangerous, bro. That's a tough one. That was a tough one. Nah, not yet. Not yet. I know your ass gotta go. Magician for a lucky card. Snooze on that big time. Honestly, I get... Oh, no, you're, you're a basic Andrew. You can certainly get glassed. Should discard... We, we need one glass card, in my opinion. Maybe we need two. In that case... Fucking discard, bro. And then you can discard the other glass to try to draw exactly what we drew. Which actually paid dividends, which is kind of absurd, but we take those. Okay, dump this guy. <coughs> Pardon me. And, uh, and go double glass. The double glass is a just-in-case me. And none broke. We got 170 million and none broke. Okay, anti-12, every blind you live through on anti-12 is a gift. This is where you have to start tempering your expectations a little bit. 300 million. Now this is where you gotta put your nuts on the fucking table. I need to draw more glass Andrews. But I'm not discarding a polychrome to make it happen. I'll tell you that for free. Temperance. Okay. Okay. One glass, Andrew. I don't think it gets us there. We got to play it. Just draw five more fives after that. We got 15 fives left in the deck. Just don't, don't cry about it just yet. Okay. Hold. 300 million points. Four fives. Literally, this is the way. <laughs> Can you play a shit five? There's no such thing as a shit five, bro. It doesn't exist. Okay, now we got problems. Can't get that. Can't get that right now. We have two glass fives remaining. And we need them both. We need them both right now. Five of a kind, three seals remain. All you have to do, how many fives are left? There's eight fives left. Just draw eight fives, bro. Oh wait, draw five fives in, eight, in five cards, it's easy. <laughs> Every blind at anti-12 is a gift, okay? Don't get it twisted. It broke, though. Motherfuckers, when they fall off their bike and crack their helmet. Oh, my helmet's broken. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? We're in the Kuiper belt right now. Every breath of oxygen is a gift from God himself. Or herself. It's not an easy situation we find ourselves in here. 
Justice is insanely valuable. Strength, we don't need more fives. We, we're doing okay on fives. More than anything else, what we need is to get fucking... Hack, essentially, is the only Joker that matters. I'm going down to 450. That's as low as I'm willing to go. Okay, that's just like, I, I, I made a, a limit and I stuck to it. Now. The polychrome cards must be glass now. This is like, if they break, they break. This is what they're here for. To take us even further beyond. Now, a regular Andrew, we have no need for you. It must be done. Now, try it. <laughs> try it. Four hundred fifty mil. Five billion points, none of them broke. Okay. Hold. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna send the first one down Main Street. We've even got discards remaining. Molt, molt, glass, glass, glass. <coughs> None of them broke. Okay, beating Anti-12, as far as I'm concerned, the run is now won. 47 billion points, okay. I'm not going to lie to you, that's tough. <laughs> but we actually got like a sick draw, bro. Four glass cards and a polychrome multer. Like, you got to give this a shot. Six hundred and sixteen million points, a pittance. E me. E, 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 E. Oh, that was like a billion points. We're fucked. <laughs> we made one billion? Why was that so fucking ass, bro? I don't even know what I'm fishing for at this point. Do we have any more reds? We have one more red seal five. Am I really gonna, I guess I'm gonna dump this five to look for the red seal five, which is fucking nutty. It's kind of an insane play. And we got it. Um, I gotta play one red seal five though. <laughs> or play four of a kind with the three and then draw four fives at I, I think we're I think we're in trouble, lads. <laughs> Still, it's good. It was a very good run. Wow, most cursed uh, draw of all time. Okay, anti-13. I think it's like the third time I've ever seen it. Now, it is a challenge, but still. Okay, we'll throw in slash marker. Call that Balatro 1. Okay, I, I think I got one more in me before I have to go. Why does everyone hate Bradley Cooper now? Maybe everybody is a strong word, but like, you know why? Like, listen, I didn't think Maestro was that good. But I genuinely respect him because we need... Everyone loves Nicolas Cage when Nicolas Cage goes crazy. But then Bradley Cooper deigns to go a little bit crazy on uh, Maestro. And all of a sudden, people are like, oh, rip his career. I'm telling you, the, the Bradley Cooper renaissance in public opinion is going to come around in like the next couple of years. He's not Nicolas Cage. Yeah, no disrespect, he's a better actor. I know the Reddit meme crowd's not gonna like that. I mean, I was pioneering Nicolas Cage when you were still knee-high to a grasshopper. But Bradley Cooper, he's, he's carrying the fucking reins, bro. No, you weren't? I fucking was, bro. I was there in 2006 when he made The Wicker Man. I was asking, how did it get burned? I said, don't punch the lady in the bear costume. You'll never make a dime. Bradley Cooper has zero good movies. Is a simple rule. 
if you have to lie to make your point, your point is bad. How many Oscars does Bradley Cooper have versus Nicolas Cage? I don't know. I imagine Bradley Cooper's got one for some category for A Star Is Born. I don't know what the category is, but I'm sure he's got one. You ever see the A-Team? You'll change your opinion. You ever watch Bangkok Dangerous, motherfucker? You'll probably change your opinion on Nicolas Cage. Or all the fucking Chinese shit that he was in from like 2012 until 2019 to pay off his debt to the IRS. Nicolas Cage has higher highs. The motherfucker's like 68 years old, bro. You just gotta give Bradley Cooper some room to, some room to breathe. He said, I love too much. I love too much. That's always my problem, but I'm reining it in. I'm reining it in. It's good, man. He's trying. He's got, he's, he's got balls and he's putting them on the table. And that's what we respect in this business, okay? I, you will not get me to hate Bradley Cooper. It's not going to happen. Try something else. You're barking up the wrong tree. You weren't there when The Hangover 1 came out. Your ass was positively zygotic swimming around in your dad's right nut. You weren't there. I'm telling you. Like, I'm not saying that you necessarily were going to be wrong about this one. Like, there might be alternate paths that could have you live as long as we've lived on this one. The fact that everybody disrespected Splash is crazy to me. Splash is the gift that keeps on giving, bro. It's been keeping me alive. Also, Splash is a good movie. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Splash is great. And Maestro sucks. Yeah, the one where Tom Hanks fucks a mermaid. Yeah, that's, yeah, 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 no, I see where we're going. And, and this is the same chat that's always telling me to put some respect on Shrek's name. When I say Shrek was pretty good, you want me to say as a fucking, oh, it should have won Best Picture in 2001 over Requiem for a Dream or some ignorant shit like that. Okay, we have to play dog shit hand. I'm sorry. We might as well, let's play it as if it's a discard. You're not popping on this one, are you? I watched The Staircase on Netflix yesterday after you recommended that shit is crazy. It's like a 12 hour long docu-series and I talked about it yesterday. How is, how is this possible? I'm not mad, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not, I said, I, I, don't write in the paper that I'm mad, okay? I'm not mad. Because there's 24 hours in a day. Your unemployed friend be like, uh, cause there's, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not fair. Okay, here we go. This is, this is a lock-in type moment. We need four of a kind. Probably. That's not what you'd like to see. Okay, we don't get four of a kind. Play it as it lays. Wasn't even close. <laughs> okay, I got 10 minutes. Easy. Easy. Non-perishable. Send it. You just gotta go fast. Skip it. Fucking do it. This one's for Bradley. You're absolutely right. This one's for Bradley. The last one, that wasn't for Bradley. It's disrespectful to Bradley. This one's for Bradley. I got 10 minutes, Bradley. I'm reining it in. Hey, Anel, how do I deal with teenagers playing Ding Dong Ditch at my house 10 times a day? I think you have to let them get away with it because there's no third places anymore. Adds a stone when the, I can't fucking afford it, motherfucker. So forget that. Okay, we're going diamond flushes forever. Yes, we are leaving early today. For, from my perspective, it's leaving on time, but you may feel differently about that. How about a jumbo buffoon pack? What are we supposed to do? I don't know, there's plenty of streamers on. You don't even talk to me, bro. Like, I, I try to watch Twitch sometimes, it's like 10 p.m. Pacific time, motherfucker. Nevada time. There's nobody on. Hey, David, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Thank you. That's when I stream WTF. Hey! Caught, caught. I mean, we'd be silly not to try that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's take a peek. It's good enough, bro. It's, it's actually genuinely good enough. These are not 
lights out jokers. But you know what? They're team players. They're role players. You can't have a team full of Xavier Laflemmes. You gotta have some Doug Glatz on the team as well. You gotta have some locker room guys. You gotta have some character guys. You gotta have some face-off guys. You gotta have some skill players. You gotta have some penalty killers. <coughs> you already knew that, obviously. But you do need to have some skilled players. That is true. That is true. You do need Gary Bettman to freeze the envelope that contains your team's logo in it. So when Bill Daly reaches into the tub for the draft lottery to see who the next generational talent in the NHL is uh, going to go to, then he just feels for the uh, just feels around for the the cold envelope and then he pulls it out and all of a sudden Gilbert Perrault is going to the Buffalo Sabres instead of the Vancouver Canucks simultaneously cursing both franchises. Thanks thanks for this boss blind by the way. Thanks for this incredible boss blind. I really appreciate it. You can basically suck me we're on anti 4. Is it being a lottery good or bad? It's good cuz like after you win the draft, like if you get first pick in the draft, you're probably still going to be ass for like a couple years. So you shouldn't be able to win first overall pick right after that. So I'm glad that they changed it, but it is funny that like after they changed it, Edmonton still is <laughs> still getting picks. I mean, not anymore because they're actually good, but also it sucks. Like no disrespect to Edmonton. At this point, you should just lean into the heel role. I, and I mean that sincerely. It's just sports. It's not that big of a deal at the end of the day. But like, because Edmonton was so fucking ass, they had to like rework the entire rule set for the draft lottery. And then it fucked over like 20 teams that were genuine ass instead of trying to like game the system. Like the Canucks were ass for almost a decade straight. And it, we moved down in the draft lottery every single year. Because you motherfuckers were so ass they had to change the rules. We were trying as hard as we could and we were ass. Our GM was signing fourth liners to like $5 million a year contracts in the salary cap era. We're still holding. All we gotta do is make it to anti-8. Nothing more complicated than that. Star card goes insane. Celestial pack with the Jupiter in it. We've been anointed. Three minutes left. It's three minutes more than I need. This game looks pretty complex. Ah, it's, it's probably one of the easiest games ever made. Next to um, Dark Souls. Am I right, fellow gamers? It's basically just cheating at poker. <coughs> I mean, when I show up to the poker game and play five of a kind fucking molted polychrome aces with red seals on them. The dealer's face when he tells me I've got to hit 21 and not 1.06 times 10 to the 23 E775. Dipped in Mama Lizard. I stole the joke from chat. It's good. It's a good joke. Lose a dollar per card played. Things I would prefer not to do if I would. 10 times Bartleby the Scrivener's. I, what do you. Sorry. <laughs> <coughs> He's going Bartleby mode, is what I'm trying to say. What are you talking about? Oh, let me guess, your favorite Herman Melville work is Moby Dick. How'd you know that? It's fucking everybody's favorite Herman Melville work, bitch. What's your favorite part? Oh, the part where he says, call me Ishmael? Real original. What else did he write? Bartleby the Scrivener, bro! I would prefer not to! I never read it. Yeah, it's probably too long for you. It's about six pages. It's basically about a guy who goes giga chat and blows his boss the fuck out. Mouth style? No, like fucking... With his... With a spoon. <laughs> you ever hear that one? What is this bit? You've never heard it, huh? Whoa, did you hear that they arrested that Reese actress in Hollywood? For murder. Witherspoon? No, I think it was with a gun. <laughs> Why are you laughing so much? Boo? Bro, you don't, you're booing the news right now. This shit actually happened. 
We have to do this. All cards debuffed until one Joker sold. Okay, so they put out a hit on us. <laughs> they, they, I, I can't, I can't sell a Joker, bro. I can't, I, I, I gotta find a way to reroll this boss, Anti. Because debuffed is gonna kill us. Because it's the only thing generating consistent. I mean, our flush molt is pretty good, but we're not gonna be able to get there. Is I local thunk? You've wasted my time. What am I supposed to do with this shit? Plus one consumable slot? <laughs> PC load letter? What the fuck does that mean? Should have bought a lover's card? Fucking why, bro? Just need a luchador? T to, to who, Ben? Aquaman? I don't have any Joker spots. And I can't sell Jokers. You're right, it's wrong for two reasons. It's so wrong, I actually over thought it and missed some of the wrongness oh okay i mean i think we we literally can't do anything imagine if it said until one card was sold and then we just fucking i uh, sold a tarot card and went boss mode we went bilbo swaggins mode well let's shuffle off this mortal coil real quick let's see all i want to say i want to see twenty five thousand. just twenty five thousand. Sixteen thousand. Okay, we, I mean, we literally have no upside, so, like, there's there's no way out. I guess I don't have to play Diamond Flushes, but 16,000 times 4 does not get us there. He will not divide us. Local Thunk, why would you, why would you do this, bro? Why would you do this? <laughs> we were there, man! All right, all right. I gotta go! Goodbye! Slash Marker... Balatro 3, that one's for Bradley. I will see you tomorrow. Raid Mouth. Okay, if he's not live, I'm going to perma-ban you. You will be permanently banned. He is live. Wonderful news. Okay, be nice in Mouth Chat. I'm just being honest. If you, get, if you backseat, he will permanently ban you. Use your the frontal lobe in your brain, not the cerebellum. You're going to be like, this will be funny if I get banned, but it won't be funny. It's just going to ruin the vibes. So be cool, okay? Hello, Luca. <laughs> this one's for those ice cold Michelle Pfeiffer, the white gold. This one's for the good girls, them hood girls, straight masterpieces, styling, Flying, living it up in the city. Got the Saint Laurent with the chucks on. I gotta kiss myself, I'm so pretty. It's too hot, hot darn. Make a dragon wanna retire, man. Too hot, I'm too hot. Say my name, you know who I am, I'm too hot. Girls hit your hallelujahs. Girls hit your hallelujahs. Girls hit your hallelujahs. Cause Uptown Funk gonna give it to ya. Cause Uptown Funk gonna give it to ya. Cause Uptown Funk gonna give it to ya. Saturday night and we're in the spot. Don't believe me, just watch. Woo! I don't know, I don't know. I, yeah, I do. It's, uh, that song comes up a lot on the Peloton. <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> like all the time. Thank you.